Hey there everybody, it's Matt with Max Video, and today we're doing a game review, but it's about a phone game, and I know what you're thinking, oh gosh, phone game, like some Candy Crush thing or something, no, this is actually a really good game, um, the game is called Lifeline, let me see if I can pull up the little tab for you. Yeah, that one right there. But um, what it's about, um, it's a kind of a pick-your-own-story game. Remember those pick-your-own-story books from when you were a kid? It's that, but in a game. Um, there's no actual activity. It's all log-based. Uh, and what it is, you have intercepted a message from Taylor who is a astronaut on board the Varia and his spaceship has crashed and you have to help him get through it you have to make all the decisions for him and as you can imagine this can go well or this can go terribly um, Taylor can die and it, sometimes you have to step back a good ways to figure out where you went wrong that caused him to perish. But, um, for instance, me, it took three tries. And he died twice, and I finally beat the game on the third try. Hallelujah. Um, but in it, you have different ways of going about this. You have being a concerned person or being a smart aleck and just being a jerk and sarcastic. Most of the time, those two won't affect your decision too much. It'll just provide some funny dialogue. It's the big decisions that you have to look out for. And sometimes it's a decision you think, ah, that can't be too big. That will screw you up in the end. Um... There are different parts to it. I know of a second part. There could be a third. Don't know. Um, couldn't find in a third one anyway on the Play Store. But I wasn't looking overly hard because I'm mainly reviewing this one. I do plan to get the second one. And I will do a, another uh, review on the second one. Um, really good game, though. Uh, it was recommended to me by uh, my friend Megan. She literally texts me at like 10.30 at night. No, it was like 7.30. I don't know. I was at the gym. Eh. But, um, and she's like, you have to play this. And since she's not a gamer, that says something. But, and the game takes place in real time. Um, meaning that if you tell Taylor... You know, grab you some breakfast. He'll get back with you in about 30 minutes. You know, time it'll take you to eat breakfast. Uh, when he goes to sleep, you won't hear from him for about another eight hours unless something happens while he's asleep. Um, if, you, you know, he's hiking across this barren moon, you might not hear from him for a few hours. You know, there ain't much to talk about in a barren wasteland. It's all real time. That being said... The time it takes you to respond to him won't kill him. Um, for instance, uh, I fell asleep last night while he was hiking, and he responded to me about two hours into me sleeping, and I slept for eight, eight hours, so didn't kill him. So that's a thing. So you don't have to worry so much about the fact that it's real time and it affecting how often you get to it. Um, but it is a fun little thing. It's, you know, you can't rush through it. By no means is it a long game. It took three days for me to beat it, and that's because it's in real time. If you did it straight through, it would take you like an hour and a half. But, um, there are a few functions to it that help in the event that you do die. You can just go back and click through your decisions to figure it out. Um, or you can reverse, go back to the beginning of a certain day, 
and then go into what they call fast forward mode, which is it takes away the real time based scenario and just blasts you through it until you get to the place where you want to go. And then you can turn it off and it goes back to real time, which is what I had to do the second time I died. Because the first time I died, I died in like the first 30 minutes of the game. I made a stupid decision. Um, the second time, I thought it was a good decision. Shows you how good I'd be at a horror movie. But um, all that being said, go check it out. Um, let's see, what studio made this? Where are you, app of mine? Where are you? App of mine. There it is. Uh, it's by Three Minute Games. Um, got a 4.5 rating. Let's see. Are there others? Oh, that being said, it did cost a dollar. Yeah, it's well worth a dollar. And I hate spending money on phone games. And I thought it was perfect. Like, I've only, I've never spent any money that's mine on a phone game until now. Even if it's just a dollar. I'm frugal. Or tightwad. Eh, it depends on which way you want to go about it. Anyway, check it out. Really good. You know, thumbs up to the developers. You, you did a good job on this one. Um, some of these, you know, short games that are on phones kind of are subpar. This one, excellent. Highly recommend it. But that's all for me today, guys. Y'all have a good one.